How has the field of robotics evolved over time? I think the initial focus of robotics, ac academic and industrial, really started with robot manipulator arms. And they're kind of the oldest extant robots, dates back to the early 60s, used for manufacturing, machine loading and unloading and whatever. Mobile robots today, though, are probably the, you know, considered to be the cutting edge and the more exciting area of, of robotics. Some people probably consider that robot manipulator arms are passe. You, know, you, just, you buy them from the shop, you install them in your factory and they do good things for you. Mobile robots is exciting because we're getting robots out of factory environments into real world environments. So they might be big mining trucks, they might be working in forestry. Uh, there might be an underwater robot that's controlling crown of thorn starfish, there are drones, uh, there are robot vacuum cleaners. So I think everybody sees this huge economic potential in mobile robots and I would agree with that. I, I think that is absolutely the, the cutting edge. What's going to come? Uh, self-driving cars, a lot of press, a lot of talk, a lot of chatter around, around self-driving cars and they will come in five to, five to ten years. I'm sure they will be that will be routine. How do you see MathWorks products fitting in with the convergence of multiple technologies? So for example, self-driving cars. So with almost any mobile robot technology, including self-driving cars, you've got a perception problem. So how does the robot understand where it is and what's around it? How does it get its situational awareness? So there's a bunch of sensors that would be important in creating these robotic systems. So they might be, they might be radar, they might be laser scanners, uh, very likely they'll be cameras. So we're going to need to process oodles of data from all of these sensors, and particularly for cameras. Cameras produce an enormous amount of data, you know, hundreds of megapixels of data per second, oftentimes from multiple cameras or multiple sensors situated all around the, the robot. So you know, math works tools that are associated with processing that kind of data, for instance, image processing toolbox, computer vision systems toolbox, are going to be invaluable. Yeah, connected with toolboxes for control system design, toolboxes for robot localization and planning. You're going to be taking all of those technologies, encapsulated toolboxes, and putting it together into one robotic system. What are some of the key or interesting features that you see coming up in the robotic systems toolbox? The key features that I know are going to come in the robotic system toolbox is support for robot manipulator arms. So whereas my toolbox started with robot manipulator arms and added mobile robots, robotic system toolbox has done it the other way around. And I think that's simply in response to industry demand. What is your experience with MOOC and MATLAB as a language? And do you have any more MOOCs in the pipeline? Hopefully two more MOOCs in, in the pipeline. We used MATLAB in, in the MOOCs because the MOOCs based very, very strongly on, on the, the textbook. And the textbook is based on the toolbox and the toolbox is based on MATLAB. So it was a long chain of causality. The students in general enjoyed using MATLAB and, and the toolbox when they, were, when they were doing the MOOCs. MathWorks was very kind in making a time-limited license available to all the MOOC students and they provided fantastic online support so it helped you know, thousands and thousands of students to get MATLAB up and running on their own computer if they if they chose to go that way and once the students had MATLAB on the computers then they could access the toolboxes and then you know they could just start to explore the concepts that we were introducing and discussing in the MOOCs and then we also used it for evaluation they expressed answers to problems in terms of snippets of, of MATLAB code. And what are your future plans for your robotics toolbox? Refinement, improved documentation, better unit testing, uh, really to try and make the, make the, make the toolboxes more, more user friendly. The other thing I've probably taken advantage of is greater use of a symbolic toolbox, a symbolic capability in MATLAB, which is actually really useful for analytically understanding simple robotics problems when you can actually use MATLAB to grind out the equation, you look at them, <coughs> you can gain real insight. For really big complex systems, uh, really the, the expressions are too complicated and human beings can't understand them. But for trying to understand, say, the kinematics of a two-link robot, I can use a symbolic toolbox to 
show that very clearly, very precisely what the solution is. And I think that, get, that helps with insight. But when I go to a six degree of freedom robot, then symbolic equation is too big and you need a numeric solution. So I've probably taken more advantage of symbolic toolbox capability, which has come on in leaps and bounds really since uh, first edition of the book.